Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode two for Medic Junkies. Today we're going to talk about viral and bacterial filters um, and how we're going to connect them into advanced airways, CPAP, and SVNs. Um, all of this is coming from a prior video that I've made that I'm going to post here soon uh, in regards to COVID, possible COVID patients, and really the exposure risks when dealing with airways and aerosolized treatments. So the filters are kind of a standard now uh, with any advanced airways, just so we're protecting ourselves. For my particular department, this is the brand that we've gone with. It's made by SunMed Bacterial Viral Filter. They say they can filter out about 99.99% of expiratory bacterial and viral content. Okay, the particular model, if you care, is BF102. All right, so they're pictured. Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set these up. First note, here's the filter, okay? It has a little adapter piece that came with it and then the filter itself. You can see here is the packaging that it comes in. Now, one thing I noticed as we're trying to connect, keep in mind, anytime that we have an airway, we should always be monitoring end tidal CO2. This is the gold standard, especially with your advanced airways, to confirmation of tube placement, and to monitor how we're adequately ventilating, okay? Well, what I noticed, if we try to use this adapter, this adapter in the neck of it has these little ridges inside of it. I don't know if you can see there, um, but if you had this equipment, you'd be able to tell. When you try to attach this to your end title, you'll notice at first you really have to push into that to make the connection, okay? And then when we attach our filter and our BVM, we notice that when we started ventilating, I can actually feel a little bit of air leaking out right here. Okay, so we're causing an air leak, which isn't good for the circuit, and we're kind of defeating the purpose of our filter because now content can actually get past this leak and into the environment. Um, not good for us, okay? So what I would honestly recommend with this particular filter, you may have other ones in your department, but with this one, I would get rid of this adapter. Don't use it. Instead, a better thing to use is gonna be our SVN inline kit, okay? And the key pieces here is gonna be the flex tubing and the elbow, okay? These are key pieces. And then of course the SVN if we wanna actually deliver the treatment. So let's talk about our first setup, the most basic, basic BLS airway, okay? So first, we're gonna start with our BVM mask. And then from here, we're gonna add our filter. Our filter will plug right into it a little snug at first, but get it pressed in there. And then we're gonna add our end title. Plugs in just like that. And then we can attach our BVM to the end of this, okay? Now, for a BLS airway, I understand that we're probably gonna be breaking the seal quite often, okay? Especially if we're not really paying attention. I would recommend do the best that you can to hold that seal and maintain it. So that way when we are ventilating our patient, we have some kind of protection with this filter in place, as well as we can still monitor our end title, okay? Now from here, we're gonna make it a little bit more advanced. So let's say that we have our innovated patient, okay? We said that gold standard end title must go on first, okay? So we can confirm our placement always. Now we're gonna grab our SVN inline kit, to pull our pieces out. And what we're gonna need here is our elbow. Now keep in mind, depending on which side of the elbow you put on, one side is gonna be a little bigger in diameter, so it's loose, it's not gonna make that tight connection. The other side is gonna have a more narrow diameter, so that will fit nice and snug. From here, we're gonna add our filter, okay? Just like such. And then we're gonna add our flex tubing, which in essence is our adapter, so we can connect our BVM up to it. Okay, so BLS airway, or sorry, ALS airway, we have our advanced tube, our end title, our elbow, our filter, our flex tubing, and then our BVM, okay? <clears throat> now keep in mind, some agencies may have kits that have smaller adapters. Uh, usually they're hard plastic and have uh, different diameters to them. So that could really shorten this up quite a bit if you have that option. Our department doesn't. Our transporting rescues do typically have those. So 
make sure to use it if you have it. It might make things a little nicer, a little tighter, cleaned up. So now we're going to take this all apart. Again, each one of these I'm going to start from scratch so you can see exactly how they're set up. Try to make this as simple as possible. We're going to do inline SVN with advanced airway. So we have our advanced airway. Again, this can either be an ET tube, uh, an iGel, LMA, any kind of superglottic airway that you have. They all have the same diameter fitting here. So we have our end title coming on. Next, we're going to have our elbow. Again, making sure we have the right size right side connected there. Next we're going to grab our filter, connect it in there. And now I'm going to need to grab my T-piece, correction, for SVN, T-piece goes first, and then our filter would go on to that. And then we're going to have our flex tubing. Obviously our SVN would come plug up into here. And notice I'm trying to really make these tight connections so things don't pop off that's probably going to be one of your bigger challenges. If you're not really setting them in place, they're going to fall all over the place. All right. So we're going to, again, airway, end title. We have our elbow. We have our T for our SVN in line, filter, flex, and then our BVM. Now keep in mind, this filter has to be on the circuit side or the BVM side. Okay. If I were to put my filter in between the tube or the patient and my SVN, your filter is going to actually filter out your medication. Okay. You're not going to be delivering all that medication that you're trying to accomplish with your SVN. So remember, filter must be on the circuit side. Keep in mind the SVN, we're going to flow about 6 to 8 liters per minute. BVM should be at 15 liters per minute. If you initially get on scene and only have 102 bottle, if you had to do something like this, I'd recommend flow your SVN so we can actually aerosolize that albuterol at your vent or the racemic epi, and we can start delivering the treatment to the patient. And we can use the BVM on room air simply just as a, a device to drive the medication forward. But once we get two sources of O2, go ahead and hook them both up, okay? All right, I'm gonna go to the next setup. This one's going to be utilizing CPAP. Okay, so we're going to start with the patient's mask. Now, typically, if we had a patient struggling to breathe, and I'm just going to deliver CPAP, usually what I'd want to do is plug this in, hook it up to your O2 at the appropriate rate, and I'd have a partner sandwich that patient's head so we start delivering the treatment and the oxygen to the patient right away. Um, however, if we're concerned about COVID, this would not be a good practice because we have no filter in place and now we're aerosolizing all of that content, okay? So we're gonna try to slow down just a second to set this up. We're gonna start with our mask. We're gonna have our end title. Again, end title should be the first thing that they breathe into. So that will give us the truest reading. Nothing gets scrubbed out without the rest of the, uh, throughout the rest of the circuit. Uh, so we're gonna add the elbow. Now we're gonna add our filter. flex tubing and nice snug fittings and then we're going to add our CPAP. So you can either leave this off to the side, I can turn it and have it directed downwards for the patient, completely up to you, your choice. Now let's say that we have to add an SVN into this. So I have my SVN with the T-piece, remember we want it to be um, in between the filter and the patient. We don't want the filter to be blocking any of our medication. So mask, end title, elbow. We have our T-piece for our SVN. Keep in mind our SVN always needs to stay vertical, so we'll have to kind of twist these pieces around a little bit. And then filter, right into the flex tubing, and then we have our CPAP here, okay? So you can keep an eye on that. Now let's say your patient becomes altered, they're not able to maintain their own airway, uh, CPAP would then be contraindicated. But what you can do is leave the mask attached, just make sure you have a good position and good open airway. Leave your SVN running if you need it. You can disconnect your CPAP. And then we can just add our BVM in here. We have a nice seal on our attached BVM. 
we continue to deliver these breaths until we get prepared for innovation or some other advanced technique. Again, I recommend that you guys, I always recommend that you guys play with this equipment. Your department or agency may have different types of equipment than, than what I'm showing you here. Um, but play around with your adapters, your fittings. Uh, make sure that you know how to do this before that call comes up because we all know under stress um, and under those time restraints and a, a crashing patient, that's not the time to figure this out. So have fun. Uh, if you have any comments, please share. Thank you.